Protan provides a full range of prefabricated pipe collars, but it is important to be able to weather any penetration found on a roof. Initially, ensure the roofing membrane is mechanically fastened to the deck around the pipe. Cut a circle of membrane with a diameter of 200 millimeters larger than the pipe diameter, with a hole in the center 30 millimeters less in diameter. Stretch the membrane slightly and slide it down over the pipe. Weld the membrane to the roof surface. Cut a strip of membrane 100 millimeters longer than the pipe's circumference and 25 millimeters wider than the height. Use some scrap material to act as spacers between the pipe and the membrane so that the membrane can be easily removed. Weld the detail. Lift the detail off, remove any excess membrane and ensure the weld is complete. Heat 20 to 30 millimeters of the detail and stretch it to form a small flange. Slide the detail back over the pipe and weld the flange to the roof surface using a pressure roller. To finish the top of the detail, cut a piece of membrane with the length of the pipe's inner circumference plus 30 millimeters for an overlap. Push the membrane inside the pipe, making sure it is touching all surfaces and tack weld. Pull the membrane out and weld the internal seam from both ends. Apply heat to the internal flashing and stretch slightly before pushing the piece back inside, leaving approximately 30 millimeters protruding. Stretch it back over the external flashing to form a top hat, then weld around the flashing. To finish, cut out a 60 millimeter oval patch of membrane and weld over the joint where there is a double thickness of material.